Hi! Good morning, FlossTube. This is Kathy. Since I decided I want to try to do a daily vlog, um, I'm currently not at home. Notice the background difference. You can see the lovely artwork. I actually kind of like it. It's kind of butterfly, nautical. The bed is comfy. It's a king size bed. Um, I'm currently in New York City. I'm actually in actually New Jersey, but it's close enough to New York City. New York City is behind me. There's a gorgeous skyline. Um, I'm in New Jersey for work, so I figured I'm going to try to do a four-day vlog um, just because I'm up early. Um, I brought two projects with me on this trip. One is Country Cottage Needleworks um, pie menu. The reason I brought it was because there's some mindless stitching that I can, that I can do. Um, I figured it's one color. I'm doing a border. It'd be pretty easy to work on in the car when I have a quick second. And the other project that I brought was, let's make sure I get this right, is uh, the new Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Sweet as Pie, which was released yesterday. Um, I got a few stitches in, and did I get it? I got it basically in just in the nick of time because I think I did like 10 stitches at 11.55 a.m., um, it was a really long day yesterday. Um, we were planning on leaving at 7. We end up didn't leave until 8, and we got to our hotel at 8 p.m. Basically, we drove from Michigan through Ohio, through Pennsylvania, and to New Jersey. Um, this morning, we're going to do some testing in the New York... The next two days, we're going to be doing some testing in the New York City area, so... Um, it's, it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to try to do a blog, basically, what I'm stitching on. I'll probably try to post my process, progress on Instagram. So it, this is just going to be a short little snippet, and then I will check with you guys later. I'll talk to you either later tonight or tomorrow morning. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Floss Tube. Today is Wednesday, day three of my test trip. Tomorrow I head home. Yay, I actually can't wait. Um, still in the hotel. It's about 7.45 in the morning. I gotta, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna try to hit upload and head over, head down to breakfast. Actually, no, I think I'll try uploading this when I get back tonight. Um, so this is gonna be fairly short since I still have to disconnect something before I swap out a project before I go to head, well, I'll swap out the project later. So what do we do today? So we tested in, what do we do? so we ended up testing yesterday and then afterwards we, we, we walked around a little bit. So it took us an hour, it, from our hotel, it took us about an hour to get to the site and about an hour to get back um, because of my customers travel policies they can only go to certain hotels but since they're a, a large OEM we get a we get a better slightly better corporate rate when we get our room so we're actually staying in New Jersey and doing all our testing in New York um, I'm sorry if I'm saying I'm a lot I, I'm catching myself so when I catch myself I noticed it so we, we finished testing yesterday uh, yesterday was our there was the the, 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 the crazier day because we had to require and this. Today basically we're going to go test, come back. It's a lot quicker. It's just a little crazier because of where we're testing. Um, but we also want a lot of traffic in this testing scenario. So yesterday when we got back, um, we have three cars and when I came back yesterday, we definitely follow Waze and Waze is really good. I really don't know how people start did navigation testing or traveling without having their GPS on their phone. It's just mind-boggling and it makes traveling easy I mean you can I used it yesterday we were walking around so we took the ferry we, we finished testing we parked the cars at the hotel and we took the ferry back across to Manhattan which was like maybe a five ten minute about a ten minute ferry ride and and then we were to walk and then there was buses that took us to different places we went up ended up back in Rockefeller near Rockefeller Center um, dinner was at a street cart and then we went to Bouchon Bakery for dessert me and my coworkers, one of them went shopping, which is I think the reason why she dragged us over there. Um, me and the guys basically we walked around a little bit. We went to the Lego store. We went to American Girl Place because he wanted to get some stuff for his family. I dragged them, but I dragged them to the Nintendo store because the, the Nintendo store 
in New York City is the only one in North America. So I ended up getting a couple things for Jack and Oliver and Ami they each got an amiibo and then I also got them each a little Nintendo stuffed animal. And then we came back. So the one thing I found that I noticed is when I'm taking nighttime pictures with my Samsung X7, it definitely helps not to get grainy pictures when you don't zoom. It looks really good. The edge is probably a little bit better, but I like my Samsung X S7. Anyway, stitching, since this is about the end. So I only worked on a little bit, and I realized I didn't bring all the colors that I needed, but enough. So this is where I got done on Frosted Pumpkin Citrus Sweetest Pie Sound. So that's pretty much my update for today. Uh, I'm going to switch projects because if I am taking it with me and we do have downtime, I want to use, I want to have something, something else to stitch on that's a little more mindless. And plus, I took a spill yesterday and actually cracked the bottom of my cell phone because I was trying to take a picture. There was an uneven sidewalk. I took a spill. My ankle was a little sore. Today it's fine. It's Yesterday was a little sore, so I soaked it. Came back. I used my doTERRA Deep Blue, which I love. It, It's like Ben Gay, basically how to describe it. So that really worked. Um, so I took a bath, soaked it, and I mean, I still walked around a little bit. I still hit my step goals, which was good. So I guess until next time, and I'll try to record one more time before we leave tomorrow to finish up this vlog. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Happy stitching. I hope you guys get some stitching stuff done, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hello, Flosstube. So it is 11.30 um, on Wednesday afternoon so it's may 17th um this is my last night in new york before we head home um, i'm probably not gonna sh show anything tomorrow because we're leaving at 6 a.m and i'm probably much gonna get up dress and throw my toiletry bag into the um into, into the you know brush my teeth wash my face and out the door I go so time to go so t uh, let's see what do recap today we um i haven't posted any of this on instagram i'll probably be posting as i'm driving home tomorrow we have about a 10 hour drive it's supposed to be 10 hours last time it took us 12 hours um and with with a bunch of delays and then on the way here we saw a bunch of construction so i know that we're in for a long day in the car um i will probably have to drive some portion of it home I'm probably going to pick the back half just because while the mountains are cool, it's a little freaky, and so I prefer the boring part of Ohio. So that is that is my plan. Um, what did we do this morning? Well, we got up. We didn't. We got an earlier start this morning, so we got up, we ate breakfast, we hit the road, and we did our testing around Times Square. Um, we, we finished our testing um, about lunchtime so we got up we hit the road about 8 30 no 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 we hit the road about 9 we drove over to we drove across the Lincoln Tunnel I think it's the Lincoln Tunnel drove across the Lincoln Tunnel and into Manhattan took um we had a map so we kind of had an idea we I think the lessons learned from this is I actually picked a meeting spot so if we got separated which we always end up doing with three cars we, we we started our test equipment, we ran, and then we, we had a little bit of hiccups, but we kind of kept to the path. We got our anticipated results. That's about as much as I'm going to tell you guys about my testing. And then we parked the cars. Then we walked. Then we took the subway down to the One World Trade Center, which is the 9-11 uh, Memorial. I saw the inoculus, which was really cool. I trust me, I will be late gramming a whole bunch of pictures from the last couple of days just to just to get caught up and I'm gonna try to you know get all my pictures figured out and ready to be uploaded, ready to be printed out, that that sort of thing. So where was I? Oh yeah. So we we did that. We walked. We took the subway down. We went to the um, 9/11 material. I mean. It's, um, I mean, I think they did a very beautiful job um, designing the memorial in the sense that it is a, you know, continuous, continuous fountain that's going down. And I think 
I think everyone remembers what everyone remembers where they were when 9-11 happened and it's something that everyone you know those peep those innocent people are not forgotten and so that's that so we did that and then we walked down to then we walked down to Battery Park and did a drive-by boat ride <laughs> of Ellis Island and Statue of Liberty. And it, it was amazing to see Ellis Island. It was amazing to see the Statue of Liberty. I think it's it symbolizes what our country is. And that is a, it is a country of immigrants. And actually between the two, between 9-11 and the Statue of Liberty at Ellis Island, it is the fact that we are a nation of immigrants and we need to join as one and then someone I was I, I would have loved to go into Ellis Island but we didn't have enough time so I'll probably definitely do that when I come back on a personal trip rather than a work trip uh what else I was gonna say um so it's a work trip um in that sense so it, the, the thing is it's with I'm gonna get a little political which I typically don't do and I'll try to stay neutral while we're a country of immigrants, there's always been a screening process. It's not like you fly over here and you're instantly granted a status where you can work or whatever. There's, I mean, some lady was talking about when there was, there were, um, there, there are narratives inside of Ellis Island from real people talking about what it was like to come through Ellis Island. And that was only the first step. I mean, you survived the, I mean, if you survived the journey across the Atlantic, you weren't guaranteed uh, the in entry into the U.S. You still had to go through a screening process. And that's not, the, that's not, seeing the Statue of Liberty just means, okay, you're one step closer. So, it's, it, it was just... It was beautiful. It was a great, I mean, it was, walking around the streets was hot, but sitting on that ferry, it was gorgeous. The sun was out. It was comfy. I mean, it was, it was awesome. And I've been rambling for five minutes, so this is going to be a little longer entry. So, I didn't get much stitching done, but I did do some because I'm trying to stitch a little bit. So, I actually, and I prepped it a little bit too, and I'll show you. This is my version of parking, and it works. This is the, the main reason why I brought this project with me. So, we finished testing. We came back. Um, we split, split up. There's five of us. Two of us decided to stay down in um, downtown, and they uh, did some more shopping before they came home. And three of us came back, and then a little while, while later, we went out to a restaurant. And I've had Brazilian steakhouse once, which is awesome. It's an all what I it's it's an all you can eat. Um, I'll flip the little flipper too, but it's all you can eat, and basically. It's a buffet, but you stay seated and the food comes to you. So um, you sit down and obviously you have soup and salad, like any, you know, and sides just like any other buffet. And then different um, waiters come around with servers, like skewers of different types of meat. You have flank steak, hanger steak, pork loin, bacon wrapped turkey. And, you know, it comes around and you basically say, you know, you have a green saying, hey, bring me meat or red, stop. And so they bring it around and they're like, okay, I have this. Do you want some? And you say yes or no, and they cut you some. And if you want more, they then cut you a little more, and then they, you know, you finish. And then it just basically keeps coming and coming. And I've had it once, and I, I really enjoy it. And so I actually introduced two of my coworkers to the, um, this, and they both enjoyed it. So that was good. I actually like it. I'm I'm constantly introducing my coworkers to new things. I mean, the one thing that they ate that I didn't eat was chicken heart. So that's it. Anyway, I gotta finish this because I don't want this video this to be too long because I'm gonna attempt to upload it before I go to bed. Um, so what I worked on today was Country Cottage Needleworks pie menu. Now what I worked on oh this kind of works is basically this border right here. There's a frame that goes all the way around, and what I did was I put in those stitches and then I left this nice long tail so that tomorrow 
all I have to do is just thread the needle and then stitch till I'm ended. I mean, I pretty much have to go up to here and go up to here. So this might be enough, or what I have might be enough. It might not be enough, but I, it's my it's mindless stitching that I'm doing because I actually ripped out a whole bunch. But anyway, so that's that. And this is basically the end of this little vlog that I'm doing. Um, it hasn't been too bad and it shouldn't be too long. I know it's probably more non-stitchy versus stitchy related, um, but this is basically what I brought on my stitching trip. I planned ahead. Um, I, obviously, I, I had some lessons learned. Next time, I definitely need to go through the kit to make sure I have. I just grabbed what I did was when I packed, I just grabbed the kit, what I had kitted, and threw it in the bag. And the pie menu is already in process, so that stuff and most of this is with specialty flosses, so it has its own bag. So, oh, oh, sorry, I'm tired. Um, and the alarm is going off in about five hours, so I should probably get going. Anyway. That was that, and I will t I will probably do a little more update. Well, actually, this pretty much keeps up everyone up to date of what I've done at Mania. Granted, I haven't posted anything, so I want to make sure all my when I do release these, I'm gonna probably stagger them and also make sure that the blog post with it is updated as well. So that's that. I'll probably be posting. The blog will have some food pics and talk about this, and then obviously the setup for this series would be to um, sort of kick off another segment, which I'm tempting to finally do a scrapbooking segment, is to do a scrapbooking process review that involves setting this thing on a different angle and an overhead so I can actually see. And oh my God, my nose is running, so bear with me. Anyway, so I just want to say good night. Thank you for watching this vlog. And tell me if you actually enjoyed this. I know it's very stitching light and more life, more popular, on, more topics on the life. So let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you for watching and keep stitching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.